probably get a decent recording here. Make sure the levels levels are not peaking. Whatever. We'll give it a shot. Hey guys, how's it going? So today's video is kind of uh, a little bit off the cuff. I wasn't planning on making a video at all today or a video on this topic, but I posted a reel on my Instagram page and a friend of mine asked me about it. And so that's where the idea for this video came from. So it has to do with some of the features I use to edit my photos. Generally, we use the sliders. I still use the sliders uh, myself. Uh, and they're a very simple way to adjust things like exposure, contrast, brightness. If you want to adjust something, let's say contrast, for example, uh, you move the slider, you can increase the contrast or you can decrease it. And the same is true for the rest of those options. The thing about the slider, though, is those adjustments affect the entire image. The curves feature is a little bit different. The curves feature gives you a little bit more control over your edit because you'll have this diagonal line and at the top of the line you're adjusting the the highlights and the bottoms the the absolute shadows so you've got absolute whites absolute blacks and you've got this curved line connecting them now generally you'll see people use this feature and have three points on the line you can make as many points as you want but we'll, we'll talk about three points just for the sake of simplicity so the point near the bottom of the line, you're adjusting the shadows. The point in the middle, you're adjusting the midtones, and the point at the, near the top, you're adjusting the highlights, and you can do these individually. So I can make adjustments to the shadows that don't affect the rest of the image. And so that's why I like using the curves feature, because uh, like I said, it gives you a little bit more control over the edit. Now you can also, edit the RGB curves, which means you can apply the same idea to the blue, green, and red tones in your image. So if we're using the red tones here as an example, we can do the same thing. We can adjust how much or how little red tones we want in our shadows, in our midtones, or in our highlights. And we can do that with the green and blue as well. So because of the versatility of this feature, you could actually use just this to edit the entire photo if you wanted to with the amount of control it gives you uh, of course i'm using uh, lightroom mobile to to show this because when i take pictures on my phone that's what i use to edit them and aside from curves they have a lot of features that you can use to fine tune the look of your uh, image but that is just a quick look into the curves feature how it works and and why i like to use it to edit my photos